The weather is cooling down and it's time to start the next batch of seedlings, which includes some new things I haven't tried before. Stick around as I start some seedlings and talk about three new additions this season, like this annual edible berry and leaf producer, and also how these seedlings can help save some adorable puppies. There are two main growing seasons in Hong Kong, the hotter, wetter times and the less hot, not so wet times. But as the weather cools down, it's time to rotate some crops and try some new stuff. So uh, here are some of the seeds I've gotten over the past year. Uh, quite a few I've bought and there are some that I've gotten as gifts as well. I'm going to start the season with something quite easy. I've had good luck with this in the past before, radishes. Shout out to my friend JL for getting me this variety. I'm also really keen to start growing some Romanesco broccoli. Uh, these look really, really cool. They'll be a fun addition, hopefully, to the garden this season. But it's time to talk about the three newbies. First, the edible herbaceous flowering plant, Nasturtium. We saw a lot of these over the summer in Minnesota. I've been keen to have them back in the garden since the last one we had was a seedling we got that sadly didn't last long. Our pack should give us multiple colored edible flowers with a horseradish-like bite. I'm just gonna plant them about one and a half to two and a half centimeters deep and keep it moist. Should see them emerge in about two to three weeks. I'll direct sow some of these into a bed as well. Next up, a native of North America that can be found in parts of Europe and New Zealand the strawberry spinach. So this is supposed to be a pretty good self-seeder and it puts out edible leaves that taste like spinach and berries that are uh, allegedly mild in flavor. I keep reading about uh, how they go well in, uh, in salads and fruit salads and stuff, but hey, look, berries and greens in one plant sounds like a good deal to me. Yeah, yeah. These I'm direct sowing into a bed I've prepared for it lightly dusting the top with some soil and covering it with some net meshing for protection. It'll live in the shade for now. And last but not least, Wong Aba, or Napa cabbage. It's readily available in these parts. Uh, it's in a lot of Chinese dishes. It's fermented in Korean kimchi. It can be consumed raw. There's a lot going on for this cabbage. I could direct so but I'm going to start these in a tray about half to one centimeter deep and carefully transplant them in a few weeks. I can even try them as microgreens. Hopefully, I'll get some to bolt so I can see it safe. So, the puppies. This November, there'll be a seedling swap organized by Psycho Green Fingers. Uh, you'll remember them from the Seed Librarians episode. Uh, this event is called Grow for Good, where funds raised are going to support Catherine's Puppies, uh, a shelter that rescues and rehomes dogs. Uh, like this one. Or this one. Oh, what about this one? That's right, they're all cute. Event details are below, along with some ideas for what you can start growing around now, uh, like tomatoes. Uh, I'm going to be starting uh, yeah, these uh, Valencia tomatoes that I got from my friend Drew. Gracias, Drew. Uh, so yeah, whether you want to grow seedlings, get seedlings, or just meet people, or support the doggies, it's a good chance to come out. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. What I found when I separated these large pots. The frogs or toads are tiny and the skink is just beautiful. If anyone knows the species of either, please leave us a comment. Thanks folks. Peace! <laughs>